Well, today we had a very large earthquake in Anchorage, Alaska. 7.0 was the first one, followed by 15 minutes by a 5.8, and then a whole bunch of fives, and then a whole bunch uh, smaller ones after that. Anytime in the world we have an earthquake of 7.0 and above, considerable damage is going to be happening and a huge uh, amount of disruption. The good news is Alaska uh, uh, is a prepared state for earthquakes because they had the uh, subduction zone earthquake of 1964, the Good Friday earthquake, uh, and that was a 9.2, one of the highest uh, uh, earthquakes ever recorded on the seismograph. A uh, huge amount of destruction, a lot of people died, a whole housing development slid down into the ocean, main street kind of sunk 10 to 15 feet. The, it, people remember that. And so this morning when, when they had the earthquake there, they were saying, oh my God, I hope it is not that big. Well, it was a 7.0, still big. That's the same size as the Loma Prieta earthquake that occurred in 1989 down in the San Francisco Bay Area that had considerable amount of damage. So this is a big earthquake that did occur. In Anchorage, uh, we had some landslides that occurred. In fact, one of our uh, graduate students who graduated last year is on a, a fishing trip up there right now and he's caught between two landslides that came down. Uh, and, and so uh, some, some of the buildings have been destroyed, uh, roads, uh, the airport's back open, that's very, very good. Uh, the train system is, has been closed down. Um, but also, anytime you have an earthquake over 6.5, they put a, a watch out for tsunamis because it's on the coast. And so there was a tsunami watch. Everybody had to get to higher elevation. Two hours later, it had not occurred, so they took that off. And so that's good. You generally need to be a little bit higher to get the, the tsunamis occurring, but they, they could occur. So uh, very, very large earthquake. Now, uh, Anchorage is on a subduction zone where one plate is going down underneath the other one. The Pacific plate is coming from the south. The Alaskan plate is coming from here. And as it comes down, there'll be earthquakes right at the boundary. That's what we call a subduction zone earthquake. That's what occurred in 1964, the 9.2. Uh, and then you can have earthquakes in the, the slab that is descending, or you can have them in the upper one. The earthquake was in the upper slab that we have got. And... Um, so we have a, a similar type of thing here in Oregon. And so this earthquake is, is a wake up call for us. It reminds us that we live in earthquake country. We do have a, a subduction zone off of the coast called Cascadia, where the, uh, well, the Fuca plate is being subducted underneath the North, North American plate. So we have the same thing, Cas the Juan de Fuca plate, North American plate going like this. We are up here in, uh, in this particular area here. And, and so, uh, the earthquakes in the upper slab can get up to about 7.2, that's the maximum. Whereas the boundary between the two, you're talking 9.0. Uh, and, and, and so we have three major faults running through Portland right now. The biggest one is the one at the uh, base of the West Hills or the Tualatin Mountains. And that is the um, uh, Portland Hills Fault. And that can get up to a 6.8. That's very similar in size to the size of the earthquake that occurred today. Uh, and, and so people say, you know, what are, uh, what are the earthquakes in the North American plate going to be like? And I say, it's exactly what we looked at today. And, and the amount of damage that we could have here in Portland could be very similar to what they have in Anchorage that is going on up there. And, and so there's relevance to us here. We are always concerned about the big one. Every 500 years, it goes off from Northern California to British Columbia. Um, and 9.0 lasts three to four minutes. Uh, very, very large amount of damage and tsunamis along the coast. Uh, but then here, we also have faults that can go off. They're shallower. The shaking will be even greater. The accelerations will be bigger uh, and very important. So it's a reminder to us, uh, three or four major things. Number one, we need to have a kit at home uh, in case it is the big one, but even for smaller ones uh, with food and water uh, and wrench to turn off the gas, or if you don't have a wrench to turn off the gas, get a California valve, which uh, stops the gas going into your house and filling up with uh, natural gas. Uh, also have uh, supplies, uh, you know, money, because the ATM machines are not going to be working and things like this. Uh, secondly, uh, have um, uh, insurance on your house. The most valuable thing that you have uh, is your house. And if your house is, is knocked off the foundation, it can't be picked up and put back on. It's toast. It's dead. And so it, it, house insurance is very important. 
Uh, also get to know your neighbors because your neighbors may be your first responders or you may be the responders to your neighbors. So it's a good reminder for all of us today. So here, here's a map of the world showing all of the major seismic zones. Every time there's a major earthquake, it's a red dot. And so you have got, uh, here is Anchorage up here. This is North America. Here's the uh, area where we are. This is the Cascadia subduction zone. And Anchorage is right there where the Pacific plate moving up in this direction is going down underneath uh, uh, Alaska. We have Washington, Oregon, and then we have the Juan de Fuca plate that is generated off the coast at these chain of volcanoes going here, goes down underneath us, and then comes back, uh, melts, and comes back to the surface as a chain of volcanoes that we call the Cascades. And so you get earthquakes at this boundary, subduction zone ones. And then you have earthquakes out here, and then you also have earthquakes here uh, in the uh, North American, we call them crustal quakes. So this was a crustal quake. Uh, that was up there. And, and, and right here, you've got the uh, Portland Hills Fault. And so uh, that plus some other ones, the largest one that we can, have found is 7.2, and that's up there on uh, Mount Hood. Now, do we know if they're long active? Yeah, they were a long time ago. Uh, but are they active? We don't know. Uh, active means it's gone off in the last 10,000 years. So we live in earthquake country, so we need to be prepared.